Bristol four weeks ago. Phil Thomas fights his way past Phil Anderson to win round one. Glasgow, a race of high-speed crashes, and Anderson beats Thomas. Nottingham, round three. Right on the line, Tony Doyle grabs victory. Manchester last week, in front of a crowd of 35,000, Sid Barris wins round four. Now we're in Birmingham for the climax of the city centre cycling championship. in the last four weeks around 100,000 people have come onto the streets of Bristol, Glasgow, Nottingham and Manchester to see some of the finest cycle riders in the world and tonight in Birmingham we've got another enormous crowd for the final round of the £30,000 Kellogg Cycling Championship. Well after four weeks the championship lies between the two men who started things off in such dramatic fashion a month ago, Phil Thomas and Phil Anderson. Steve Wallington there was in green, tried that attack and failed but he's fallen back now Oh, and there's a lot of rough stuff now as Thomas gets the run. You'll never move Thomas off his line. He's a hard man. Phil Thomas, the British champion, comes out the bend first now. Anderson in second place. It is going to be a superb win for Phil Thomas, the professional road race champion, going for the line now. What a great finish. Phil Thomas hits the line. Anderson, second place. Well, Phil Anderson got his revenge uh, a week later, but uh, Phil Thomas still hangs on to the uh, yellow jersey of the championship leader, but only by two points. How safe do you feel tonight? Um, well, obviously, we don't know how the pattern of the race is going to resolve tonight. I just hope when the race finishes tonight, I'll still be holding the yellow jersey. Will you be looking out in particular for Phil Anderson? Oh, of course. N now that we're on to the last race, I think we must do, you know. There seems to be a bit of a support for uh, the man in the green jersey here tonight. I think he's brought a few supporters over him tonight, yes. <laughs> right. Phil Anderson wearing the green jersey of the leader of the sprints competition. Where'd you get these supporters from? Well, I flew them over. They came over yesterday with Qantas, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you've worked out the mathematics of the championship. What do you feel you've got to do tonight? Well, I've got to beat uh, Phil here by two. Uh, <laughs> well, I've got to finish three in front of him. Uh, it's not going to be very easy because uh, it's, it's a very tight circuit, as before, but... I think it's going to be a sprinter's race because it's got a good finish, finish, finishing straight here and it's, uh, you know, I think, uh, well, it's going to be down on a sprint, I think. OK, well, let's now take a look at that circuit. Tight and rated as one of the most exciting by some of the top riders here. And we can take a look at the circuit which starts here in Victoria Square. We'll take a look at it now in detail. The circuit starts outside the council chambers and the riders are immediately faced with a tight hairpin taking them into New Street. A very far section of the course, but it finishes with a narrow left-hander into Temple Street, and then it's the long slog up the hill to Temple Row before the right and left turns into Colmore Row and the very fast finishing straight. So it's a circuit with some very fast corners, and we've been asked how the tyres on a bike can cope with a circuit like this. Now, Jeff Wiles, former British professional champion, what's the secret? Well, Steve, the first thing you'll notice is that these very light racing wheels come out of the bike just with the flick of the lever, the very light tyres that we use are made out of silk usually and they have a very very fine tread band bonded to them and then there's the rim they're actually glued tightly to that rim about 120 pounds a square inch into them and then they're stuck to the rim solidly and you can corner without falling off so there's the secret all held together with glue let's now take our rider's eye view of the circuit and the remarkable motorcycle pictures come from barry dodd hanging on to a 30 pound camera and the shoulders of bike rider ian white This really is a strong man circuit where power and speed will count. That first left-hander there will be approached at 40 to, 40, 40 to 45 mile an hour. They'll launch themselves down this long back straight slope to where the fast riders will really make their attacks. Now the line into this next left-hander here is really critical, very fast and very rough. Picking the wrong racing line here could bring a whole new meaning to window shopping. Now the vicious 200 yard climb, down a gear, up the hill into the wind. What's a strong man look like Anderson and Baton? make their attacks up here at the top on the last lap the winner want to be in the first three for this left and then the right hander 50 yards then up to the last corner 
Now the line here will be to clip the straw bales on the right, chop the left hand curb, and into this long finishing straight, up to a high sprinting gear, slightly downhill finish. If it's left to a last lap confrontation, Thomas will be wanting to sprinting off of Anderson wheel, just about here and going flat out for the finishing line there. So that's the circuit, and there's an awful lot at stake here tonight. The championship worth over £10,000 in prize money to the winner, who also gets a Ford Sierra car. So those are the prizes. Who's it going to be? Phil Thomas, Phil Anderson, or is someone else in this top-class field going to spring a surprise? There's Sid Barris, the winner last week in Manchester. Alongside him, Phil Baton, the British circuit champion, keen to do well, no doubt, on his home ground here in Birmingham. And alongside him, Steele Bishop, who we must congratulate on uh, your marvellous performance last Friday in winning the World Pursuit title. Have you really come down after that? No, I'm still floating on cloud nine, really. It's, it's hard to get down. OK, well, it'll give you a tremendous boost for tonight. Congratulations on that. That's the marvellous lineup for this final round of the City Centre Cycling Championship. Let's join commentator Phil Liggett. Thank you very much, Steve. So, the final Monday night for Phil Thomas, just about one hour between him and reality, because this could be the finest win of his career. He wears the yellow jersey there in the centre of the picture, and the Australian riders, led by Phil Anderson, have been providing all the action over the weeks to try and take off Phil Thomas, that yellow jersey of the overall leader of the series. So the field moves off. Final round of the Kellogg's uh, City Centre Cycling Championships. And the green jersey of Anderson on the left of the picture. Very quickly, Thomas slots in. And there's the position as we start this final event. Thomas leads with 28 points. Anderson just two points behind with 26. And Steve Jockin in third place with 18. This is the climb of Temple Street that Jeff Wiles told us about. It is a very difficult climb. It is also on a very bad surface of road. Alan Piper here on the front. Well, we've seen Alan Piper very much in the action over the last four weeks. Piper finished second last week in Manchester to Sid Barris, and there he is. Trailed at the moment by Phil Galloway. Perhaps, Jeff Wise, you can give us some idea of what sort of tactics you would have employed in Phil Thomas's position tonight. Well, I've ridden this circuit, Phil, and if I was in Phil Thomas's position now, I wouldn't be moving very far from that green jersey of Anderson. Anderson's got to attack. He's got to get rid of that little man, Phil Thomas, with all the power in his legs and the powerful sprint. And I don't think Phil Thomas has got to be shaken off round here. He's a very good rider, an exponent of this sort of town centre racing, and he's going to be sticking to him like glue this evening. 